run, please? Jeez. Okay, that did nothing. I can't move it out of the way. I guess. I guess we go to section C. Nothing there. Section sees this way. Oh, this is where I started at. Okay. Section C, section C. I'm gonna close that for safety. No, so that's the stuff I was missing. They're giving me a box to stand on or something. Interesting. Nope. Maybe outside the door? Is this box going to fit through the door? No, the box is I'm just burn my retinas at that point. Nothing in here. Nope. Just the communications kits. Doesn't do anything. So we've been to Let's see, let me find a map. Where there's not a dog, please. Okay. So we've been to shaft twelve and the refinery. We went to shaft twelve kind of by accident technically. Um we've been to shaft thirteen. The tool stores didn't find anything either. sense to do anything. Mainly because of the fact that we haven't done anything there. Chapter this way. Alright, bye doggy, please leave us alone. Please leave us alone. Please leave us alone. Oh boy. Be a good boy, be a good boy, be a good boy. I mean, this rock here, this rock obviously is a move. I can't nudge it. These rocks look loose. I might be able to shift them, but they're more likely to bury me alive. Wait. 
Where are these those tunnels? I know what this that means. I better not stick around here too long. Wait. I don't remember this. Sweet. Oh no. Why is this place trying to kill me? Seriously, why is this place trying to kill me? I hear skittering. I don't like skittering. Dear God, no. Oh God, no. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Bad. Bad. Everywhere is bad. Everything is bad. Everything is terrible. Everything is horrible. I'm losing blood, but should be okay. Okay. I can't feel my arms or legs anymore. I'm in trouble. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Back at it again, the spiders. Try just walking past everything. Oh, that's not it. I'm hearing mushing sounds. I'm not even gonna turn around. I'm not gonna turn around. worried about okay I'm not gonna I'll read that one in a bit no, can, I, can I stand on something just, just out of the way of the spiders I guess I this point I'm okay flashlight check out notes check the miners funnel boys on the 4th of February 1972, I write this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days, but with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were also positive at the start, but that seemed long ago now. Dretton was the first to crack, sometime during the first night. We all just lay there trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing, slump and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chances of survival get smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seemed to have spread through the rest of us like cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid for that with his life. When he started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought it was crazy. There's only us down here after all. So why would we need codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets and made us swear to keep them safe. Mine has not left my locker more than once. It's still there. It doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them afraid safe from, but he never said. It was a pain in the arse, is what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office in the mining room this morning just to check the code for Section C. But he obviously knew something about these mines. We did it. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird, just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them being carted off to mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago. We were in chemical storage when one of the guys who had seemed pretty straight just started shouting. It wasn't a normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick... Oh, no, 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 no. Please, no. Please, no. Please not. Not now. I... Why did you decide to why did you decide to do that? Why did you want to attack now? Oh, painkillers just in time. Jerky. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff up here. Painkillers. Alright. Cool. Beef jerky. Book, looks like. Alright, back to the story. We 
just have to stick with not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple guys, damage some equipment before we got him under control. Nothing serious. When we released him, he seemed okay. Amazed, but alright. He didn't really know what he was, where he was, far away look in his eyes. Then look, I'll remember that for the rest of my days, even if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated, they just seemed to take up more space than should be possible. Black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high rate explosive packs. We knew what he intended, saw it in those eyes. Those that could made a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on the foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out to the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed on us, and now, as anyone's guessed, until how many are still trapped down here. The last thing I saw were those eyes. It seemed like they were staring at me and me alone. Stat. Now we have nothing. There's a blank page there. Oh. Unless my friends lie somewhere here now. A friend in me is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversationalist. Mm. May they rest in pieces. Rupture. Decomposing. Somehow. Okay, thank God I don't have to go through the spiders. Okay. So apparently the code is in this locker room, which um, I think this is what I just got. That might have been the last page. Uh, which means you have to go back to section C. Find those lights. Section C is this way. Just run past all the doggies. Someone's angry. Oh, hi! He's angry. Section C. I mean, it doesn't seem like the doggies are giving me that much attention. Right now, at least. Uh, not section C. That's not where I want to go. Uh, what was it? Shaft 12? Where was that light at? Shit, I forget already. Shaft 12 is where I was. Yeah. Shaft 12 was uh, the better spot. Because I went through the refinery to, to Shaft 12. So I'm guessing... Jeez. I guess we go this way. This. I can't see how to get back. Oh, okay. Oh, damn it. This is where I actually want to start at. So, section C. Shaft 12. Shaft 14. Refinery. Not where I want to go. This way, and then up. I think. Yeah, we're going to cut across here, maybe. Oh, that's another doggy. Doggy's got the vinegar. Should I throw this way? Come on. Come on. Almost there. Oh, no, no. Why did I turn around? <laughs> so, note to self do not turn around, it is terrifying. Back over here. This is just where we want to be. I believe now, if I get my notes. There, that then. Do I need to actually be standing underneath it? Mm. Is that my 
doesn't look like my locker more than once. It's still there. Let's see. What's this guy's name? Miles Statton. So if I find Miles Statton's locker, I should be able to find where I need to go. Back to shaft 13 once more. I gotta say, I'm, I feel like I'm the one who's being shafted now. Shaft 13. Shaft 13. We're just gonna work right back. Shaft 13. Shaft 13. Shaft 13. I mean, the fact that our health is as long as it's pretty good keeps me, uh, keeps me able to just run. Spread towards it. Let's look. In one shot. I'm about to go through. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through the spiders. Should just be able to roll this on the die. Oh wait, got an idea. Why don't can I plug up the spider? Okay. I don't know why it flashed red, but sure. That's okay. Oh! Okay. Well, let me grab that, but is there anything else in here? Try to have it. Ooh, I can get my boots on. It could be cozier than the one I'm currently wearing. More beef jerky. I guess I can use the jerky to lure a dog in. Blank. Okay. Alright, so that's actually what I need to get. I need to take that to. God forbid I imagine that the, the last page on the note, which is completely blank, is the hidden message. That's alright. Some more time some more time playing this game. I do have to say it's enjoyable, that's for sure. Except for when there's random voices. That's when it's a little weird. So we've got. Let's look at. Oh, jeez. We went right into that back quickly. Okay. Okay. Bother looking back. All oh, right, we're good there. All right, now we can take this. Ah, with the UV light, there's some text showing up in that blank piece of paper. So it's read storage password 1371. One, three, seven, one, one, three, seven, one. Okay, doggies did not follow us. There we go. 
One, three, seven, one. Darn good. Whew. Let's see. Alright, I hear more doggies. So I think this is about a good time to wrap this up for tonight. I want to thank everyone who joined me today. For joining in, watching me play this game. Oh, that's a doggy. And I want to thank this doggy, this doggy in particular. Look at him. Look at him. We're gonna play for a little bit. The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. But how yeah, far away are you? Um, you cannot be far. Well, I am held captive by a wall time. of stone in the northeast of the mine. Next, uh, next time we join together. As in any drama, but there I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Have a great day tomorrow. Act the uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.